Hey Funko Monsters, it's me, THE Funko Monster. Today is the last Funko Friday of 2021. Uh, I, I, I'll be honest, I don't know if this was a good year for Pops. Uh, I've been very focused on my uh, DC Multiverse line uh, from McFarlane Toys. Very hard to get nowadays because everyone wants them. Because there's not that many other DC products out there that are widely available you know, at a cheap price. Uh, but I got some pops this year. I just want to quickly showcase some of my favorite from this year. Um, one of them is Dark Side from the Justice League uh, line. Not the movie, not Zack Snyder's movie. Dark, it was the Fungo Shop exclusive. I think that's a great pop. Um, it would definitely make top 10 if I was going to make a top 10 list. Um, I, I can't think of any other pops off the top of my head. But another great pop that came out this year... And it is one of my personal favorites is Blue Beetle. Uh, I, okay, if it wouldn't, you know, even without all the Dave the Dead, you know, uh, paint apps on him, he would still be a phenomenal pop. The sculpt, like, the, just, you know, the sculpt is just awesome. And I hope they make more Blue Beetle pops because he's such an underrated character. Uh, I, I would love to read more comics with them, but, you know, anyways. Yeah, so Blue Beetle is definitely probably my favorite pop of the year just because it's just so vibrant and it's just so cool. Um, so I'm, like, I'm going to be putting him somewhere in my room in here because uh, that's how much I like him. Like maybe on this little shelf right here. Maybe just clear it up a little bit more. Uh, another pop is... Um, I, I can't say his name. Uh, I don't play Dungeons and & Dragons at all, so, and, but the Dungeons & Dragons pops look phenomenal like i i am like tempted to buy every time i see them in stores i am very tempted to buy them because they look great but i need to you know reserve my space but uh yeah this guy looks awesome and i've been meaning to do a review a review on him but i just haven't gotten around to it um and the closest thing i played to dungeons and dragons is uh magic the gathering uh which they actually had a dungeons and dragons set uh in the summer so I, I do I am familiar with them. I see them, you know, within the magic cards and whatnot. So anyways, those are just two of the pops uh this year that I can you know specifically remember and say that they're my favorite of the year. Uh you know, no that one. I this is my second take of uh this video. So anyways, uh I'm gonna show off uh my pops that I got for Christmas and from my from my mom and from my uncle who's pretty much my secondary father <laughs> yeah you know I, i'm very grateful to i basically have three parents let's be real and i'm very grateful to all of them for giving me such a good christmas and you know providing for me you know while i'm in college and whatnot you know roof over the head paying for the college and feeding me <laughs> uh, i'm like the, i'm like that tiktok's like you know, if you feed me, I'm loyal and I'll never leave you because I need the food. It's like, it's exactly like that. Anyways, uh, the first pop I picked up, uh, I actually got this before Christmas. It is Rocky Balboa. My God, I am so happy to own this pop. I love the Rocky movie so much. It's truly one of my favorite movies. And, uh, oh, by the way, before I continue on, rest in peace, Betty White. Um, it was... Like an hour and a half ago, we all found out that, you know, she passed. And uh, she was just a couple weeks away from being 100, which is, you know, it, it sucks. Because she was such a, you know, you can just tell if you watch, if, even if you just looked at a picture of her, you could just tell she was such a sweetheart, you know. Uh, and I'm just looking at my my uh, Golden Girls Pops up on, my, on my wall here. Can you guys see it if I turn it? No, uh, there they are. You can see them right here yeah um so she will be missed um but you know 99 years old that's a good life uh and yeah she was definitely a national treasure i heard president might have something like a like a little a little thing you know talking about her but we'll see um anyways rocky balboa one of my favorite movies of all times um would it be in my top 10 i don't know i, I really i don't ever want to rank my top whatever movies because it's so fluid because I, I love movies so much. So uh, this is, you know, one of my favorite movies. And uh, 
yeah, I can't wait to get Apollo, Cru uh, Apollo Creed um, there. So, yeah. Um, and unfortunately, Pops, the prices of Pops, and I know this is everything, not, like, literally everything. Food, gas, materials. Uh, it is going up in price. Um, this is $14 now. Before it was, like, $12. Yeah, so, um, yeah, I think... <laughs> Funko Pop collecting is definitely going to slow down a little bit because I got to really like the Pops that I'm getting. And I've been doing that. I've been doing that. Like, you've seen this year. I barely posted anything this year other than a Funko Friday. Um, but, yeah, this this is uh, probably in my top ten Pops of the year, too, just because I know it's from this year. Anyways, let's continue on here. Uh, I'm going to show up. So, the rest of the Pops I got for Christmas. Um, and the first set of pops I'll show is from my mom. Uh, the first one here is Brandon Briers from Brightburn. I watched this movie in theaters and it's not the best movie ever, but it was definitely very entertaining. Um, you know, what if Superman was evil? Obviously not Superman, but my God, um, very, very, very fun movie to watch. Uh, I know a lot of people didn't like it, but I really enjoyed it. And uh, this pop looks so sick. Unfortunately, though, he is broken. Uh, I, you can kind of see he's just kind of sitting in there a little weird. So as soon as I opened him, it was broken. Like, it didn't even break because he's on a flight stand. It didn't break. It was already broken. So uh, my mom is going to return this and give me the money to uh, go and buy this one at like a store so thank you mom and then the next one she got me is from the suicide squad rat catcher um i loved this character in the film um th this film's probably in my top 10 favorite movies of the year um again i need to i need to see a couple more movies before i can start ranking them but uh there's all the uh pops from the wave i really only want polka dot man and king shark i really could care less about everyone else um, unless they do a different version of Bloodsport, you yeah, know, uh, and I have, I have Harley Quinn's coming out of my ass. I know that sounds weird, but Harley Quinn pops, there's just, there's so many of them and I'm just, I'm done. I, I, I like Harley Quinn, but I'm done. Uh, anyways, uh, the next, the last pop my uh, mother got me is Winter Soldier from, uh, Amazon.com, uh, from the second Captain America movie. I, I don't know, I just... You know, I do wish the stickers were a bit smaller so I could see him better, but uh, he's just such a cool-looking pop. I love the pose. I love the shield. I love the head. Because uh, all the Winter Soldier pops you get now after the movie, the, the, the first movie, he didn't have that thing. And I, I like that thing. It looks it looks cool. I do wish he had the goggles, but, you know, it's, I'll, I'll pick... <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll let this, you know, I'll let that one go. But, yeah, he just looks really cool. Um... Again, this one came out this year too, but I, I really gotta. I, maybe I'll do the top ten. They will just probably come very late. Um, so I'm just gonna go on the Funko app and just put everything I got this year, and then just 2021. 20, even though, even if they were released late into you know in 2022, uh, 2020. Fuck. Anyways, um, so yeah, that's everything my mom got me uh, this Christmas. Thank you, mom. She's downstairs. She can probably hear me right now. Uh, so now the rest of the pops are from my uncle. Um, so the first one is, I've been looking for this guy for a long time, and it is The Undertaker. This guy is one of my, I think he is my favorite wrestler from WWE of all times. Uh, up there with John Cena and um, Seth Rollins and Roman Reigns. Um, I know those guys are still there. but So when it comes to, in terms of legends, he's definitely my favorite. Uh, so this is just from, like, his WrestleMania appearances for a couple years, and, uh, then he went back to the, um, went back to the, the hat and the trench coat and everything. So, yeah, he looks phenomenal. I love this, I love this pop so much. And he's heavy, too. Um, I've been looking for him for, like, all year, to be honest. Um, and, uh, I finally found him. Or, I finally got him. Um, anyways. Next pop is Superman Blue. There was a lot of confusion about this pop this pop was supposed to come out in new york comic-con but because of covid and because of, you know everything there's a whole thing about things not being available that's why everything's going up in price um real world effects on toys anyways 
Uh, so yeah, this is uh, this was released in a, the following con, which was I don't know what it was to be honest. I just I just saw it, I saw the release date, and I got it. Oh, I sent it to my uncle. But uh, yeah, so I finally got him in my hands. He looks awesome. Um, I love the blue. I can't wait for the red Superman um, to have these two next to each other. Fortunately, the box won't close all the way, but whatever. Uh, next pot, I watched this movie recently, and I really enjoyed it. I still question, though, whether or not I should have won Best Picture, but it is Amphibian Man from The Shape of Water. So this guy is uh, obviously inspired by the creature of Black Lagoon, which last Christmas I got. Uh, I didn't get too many pops last Christmas. I think I got like four, maybe five. Um, this year I got a lot more, obviously. But uh, yeah, I still love that metallic and glow in the dark pops. I see them every day. I put them in my bedroom. So yeah, uh, Amphibian Man. He doesn't look as cool as he did in the glam. So that's the only thing, but he still looks cool enough, you know. Anyways, like I know where he's from, you know. I really enjoyed that movie. And because I enjoyed it so much, I got uh, the amazing Sally Hawkins uh, from that movie. She was, you know, I, this movie was so sweet. It really was. Um, very, I hate to say this because it sounds political, but very progressive, right? Like, I don't know. She fucks a fish. Yeah, Sally Hawkins here. Uh, Elsa with broom. I don't know why I didn't just say Elsa. So yeah, uh, there's that. I wish they put blood on the broom. That would have been cool. Um, that, that would have been actually kind of messed up. Anyways, so yeah, got her. And then final two, I got the Drowned Batman from Hot Topic. Um, very happy to get this. Now, I think, yeah, I have all of the Dark Knight's Metal Funko Pops. I don't know why it took them so long to make this. I think they were just afraid because it's Batman, but it's a woman. But it's not called Batwoman. I don't know. It doesn't matter. Um, the ground looks awesome. Uh, I can't wait to get this opened up and take a better look at her. So, yeah. And then the final pot. Uh, I need to, I need to rewatch this movie, but, um, this was, you know, this is one of the most influential, influential movies of all the times. Um, and I, I am dying to see it again. And it is Frank, Dr. Frank Pool from 2001 Space Odyssey. Um, and on the back it shows like the one of the most horrifying scenes like ever. Like a fucking AI sends you into like just fucking yeets you into space. Like what the fuck? That's horrifying, right? Like it's just I remember watching that and being like, what what just happened? What the, like what is going on here? Um yeah, awesome, awesome pop here. He looks really cool. Uh, I hope, I don't know, shouldn't get a howl. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I, I've been wanting this guy for a while now, ever since he came out. I remember he came out in the same con. To con. I remember he came out in the same con as the, uh, the Marty McFly wearing all that outfit pretending to be an alien. And they just looked so similar. I'm like... What was the point of releasing them at the same time? That that Marty McFly pot is like, I think it's like close to a hundred bucks, which is insane. But I think it's because he was only available on the Funko shot, or maybe it was like, maybe it was a uh, Toy Tokyo. So that could have been it. But a lot of the con pops from Back to the Future usually are more expensive, which is, which is um, pretty, pretty odd. Nowadays, not so much because they just. They kind of remade them. They just made them a bunch of more, so now there's not as much of a, you know, a, a rush to get them, you know. Anyways, Dr. Frank Poole looks great. Need to see this movie again, though. Um, I'm on winter break, so, from college, so I will be, um, I'll, 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 I'll make an attempt to watch it uh, within the next few weeks. And that's it. Uh, that is the final Funko Pop haul of 2021. Um, I, I want to, you know, I want to make a New Year's resolution to make more videos on this channel, but I don't want to make any promises because I, you know, I barely have time to make videos as it is. And I really want to focus on the action figures, DC Comics action figures. And, uh, you know, I love pops and everything. And, you know, I love, you know, this little channel that I made. 
in this little series that I made, but uh, I'm still going to do Funko Friday when I get pops and stuff, so stay tuned for those, and I'll try to post the videos when I post them, you know, so anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video, uh, have a good new year, um, hopefully, you know, to me personally, this past year has been decent, um, you know, it's been a pretty great year for me, but I know a lot of people, not so much, and, um, you know, as a society, I know it wasn't that great, so hopefully next year will be better than this year. And I hope, and I hope, you know, I hope 2023 is better than 2022, and I hope 2024 is better than 2023. I just hope the following year is always going to be better than the previous one, because that's all we can hope for. Anyways, uh, leave your thoughts and comments in the section below. Let me know what you got for Christmas, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace! Thanks for watching. Bye.